Is your hostess, Arthur Murray's favorite dancing partner, Catherine Murray. Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the Arthur Murray party. We're so glad you could come, and I'm so excited to be here. I've been away with my husband, who's been ill, and I'd like to thank all of you who have been wishing him well, because he is better, and he promised that he would do a good night waltz with me at the end of the party. This is a big party for us, because our special guest is... Johnny Ray! Hi, welcome to On the Ballroom Beat. That was the Arthur Murray Dance Party back in 1957. Now, the Arthur Murray Dance Party was really like the first Dancing with the Stars. And so today on On the Ballroom Beat, I'm your host, Lania Berger, taking you through Dancing with the Stars of the Past of the present right here in your own backyard and also of the future and by future I mean specifically Dancing with the Stars season 20 the 10 year anniversary. We have special guests today we have Tony Dovolani who did a, a wonderful interview with us we're also going to talk to the um, the director of the Orlando Fringe and Theater Festival Michael Marinaccio at the uh, at the later part of the show but first let's talk just a little bit about the very first Dancing with the Stars in my opinion which is the Arthur Murray Dance Party that Arthur Murray and his wife Catherine hosted. Now the Arthur Murray Dance Party ran on, um, on CBS, it ran on ABC, on NBC, on Dumont. It was on the air from 1950 all the way to 1962. Uh, so, John, I don't know if you can pull up. We've got some pictures of the old show. Look how cool that is, the, the old logo right there. Um, stars like Bob Hope, Groucho Marx, and Betty White appeared on the Arthur Murray party. Uh, you can see there are some other great images. We can just go straight into some of the Arthur and Catherine ones there, John. Some other great images of, of them dancing on the party, which, is, uh, which was just so much fun. But there was, um, yeah, there, I love that one of the TV set. As you can see, Catherine Murray was the hostess of the evening. Uh, what a lovely, lovely dancer and lady she was. And all of the dancers dressed up in, in fancy dresses. They would perform to the Johann Strauss waltz, and, uh, and they would have a great time hosting sports figures and, and music icons and uh, you know the, the TV celebrities of the day. That's another great picture right there of Arthur and Catherine sort of leading the way, if you will. So like I was saying, it was set up like a large party with Catherine hosting, and they had all of the Arthur Murray dance instructors there. And they would help some of these celebrities to learn particular steps and, and learn different dance styles. And in fact, on August 5th, 1957, they actually set up a competition where they partnered celebrities with the professional partners from the Arthur Murray Dance Studio and had a little dance competition. So as you can see, certainly paving the way for Dancing with the Stars. So that was the Arthur Murray Dance Party. That's a little bit more of the Arthur Murray history for you. That's our part two, Arthur Murray Dance Party from 1950 all the way to 1962. You saw a little flash right there, Dancing with the Fringe Stars. You can pull that up again, John. Yeah, yeah pull it up, definitely. <laughs> dancing with the Fringe Stars is going to be your, your um, Dancing with the Stars of the present. And we're going to talk about that in the second half of the show. But I will make mention that it's going to be a great opportunity for you to go out, support the arts, and see some really, really fun live dancing. Like I said, we'll talk about it more at the end of the show, but definitely want to mark your calendars for that. That's going to be on March 2nd. 
So moving right along. Arthur Murray Dance Party paved the way for the Dancing with the Stars that we have here, what, about 40 years later, really. And, and as you can see, Dancing with the Stars has just spawned so much um, from, you know, from our ballroom dance industry. It's such an exciting thing for us as ballroom dancers. And so I want to talk to you just a little bit about some of the shows that are happening in your area that feature some of the dancers from Dancing with the Stars, also from So You Think You Can Dance, another great show that has, has brought us so many different uh, stupendous dancers and choreographers. Uh, and the first one I want to talk to you about is Ballroom with a Twist. Now there should be an image for this one too. There it is. Oh my goodness, look at that. Tony Dovolani, Dimitri Chaplin, Cheryl Burke, Anna Trabunskaya, um, Ballroom with a Twist is a great show that I had the pleasure of going to see in St. Petersburg just a couple weeks ago. Now something that you can kind of see in the small images on the bottom is that it's not just Dancing with the Stars, but they've actually teamed up and partnered with some of our other favorite reality stars. For the particular show that I saw, we had um, Haley Scarnato and Von Smith of American Idol. They were singing, and that was really such a treat. And then, um, So You Think You Can Dance, we had three dancers from, from that show. Um, we had uh, Randy Lynn Strong, Legacy, and Jonathan Platero, all from So You Think You Can Dance. So that was really a treat to see all of those different fantastic artists come together and put on just a wonderful show. They also had eight company dancers that I would like to point out were just stupendously talented. The show had a, a nice mix of, of dancing and then sometimes there was a very serious song that was sung in between and then back to a really cool dance number. Um, and another thing that was really neat is uh, that, that Tony and Dimitri and Cheryl and Anna came out and really interacted with the audience quite a bit, kind of gave a little question an answer session and, and you know discuss some of the things that they're up to which is really really neat ballroom with the twist is on tour so uh, just because it already happened in st. Petersburg doesn't mean that it's necessarily not going on anymore you can catch it in your area um, just go ahead and, and Google that and, and check it out online you'll be able to see the whole tour schedule um, now there's a very very exciting show coming tomorrow to Clearwater and that is dancing pros live I don't know if we can see this all right. Tomorrow at the Ruth Eckert Hall here in Clearwater, we have Dancing Pros Live. You can see that Karina Smirnoff is going to be a part of it, Edita Slavinskaya, Chelsea Hightower. It's hosted by Alan Thick. I'll tell you, too, um, that Ryan DeLillo will be a part of it. I know this for a fact because at the Arthur Murray Dance Studio in Palm Harbor, we have the pleasure of hosting Chelsea Hightower and Ryan DeLillo for a workshop um, happening tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. until 6 p.m. at the Arthur Murray Dance Studio in Palm Harbor. There are select spots available still in the workshop, so if it is something that you're interested in being a part of, please make sure to give us a call because we would love to have you come and join us. Uh, the number's on either side of me right here, 727-786-2224. It's not exclusively for our students. If you're not a student at our studio, but you are interested in ballroom dancing, come and give it a try. Uh, Ryan DeLillo is going to be focusing on salsa combinations, and Chelsea Hightower is going to be focusing on ladies' styling. So definitely a great thing to be a part of and then head on over to Ruth Eckert Hall to see the show, of course. I should also mention that we have two tickets to the show that we're going to be raffling off to the folks that are uh, participating in the workshops. So you can cross your fingers there, too. Now, um, going back to Ballroom with a Twist, I want to say a big thank you to Tony Dovolani, who did um, invite Megan and I to be his VIP guests. At, uh, at the show. And you may remember this. I don't know, John, if we could pull up the picture. We were on daytime with Tony. There's Megan with Tony giving him a hug. And then I also got to meet him too. And there we go. Yep. Nice dance frame with Tony Dovolani. Well, what a great guy he was. We went and saw him in Ballroom with the Twist, which was a blast. And then I had a chance to catch up with him after the show. For all of you here at On the Ballroom Beat, here's what he had to say. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lania with On the Ballroom Beat, here with Tony Dovolani from Dancing with the Stars. And we just finished seeing Ballroom with a Twist, which was absolutely awesome, by the way. You're incredible. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so you've, you've been on Dancing with the Stars since season two. Yep. All the way through, every single season. Can you tell our viewers, is there anything extra special that's happening in season uh, 20? Well, season 20 is going to be the 10 year anniversary, so it's going to, they're going to, not going to hold anything back. Everything's going to be out there. Every type of dance you could imagine is probably going to be there. They're probably going to throw some twists and turns here and there. So I think the stars are going to be better as well. Oh, 
something to look forward to for sure. And can I ask you, one of my favorite moments of season 19 was when um, Betsy Johnson did her Foxtrot to Girls Just Want to Have Fun. The transformation was incredible. Now, of course, it's more than just makeup, hair, and costumes. What did you do to make that transformation possible? I had to actually maybe start, you know, making her believe that she's pretty. Because apparently in the last 40 years, she has never felt pretty. So when I gave her that transformation, she, for the first time, said, this is like, Amazing. I've never felt this pretty in my life, so that was pretty cool. And one last question. Yes. Does Slick Willie mean anything to you? Oh, yeah. That's when I was a bad boy on Shall We Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Shall We Dance, Jennifer Lopez and Richard Gere, you were fantastic. I trained them, yeah. And you trained them. What yep. was that like? Amazing. They were really talented, amazing actors, obviously, and great dancers. Can I say that you are one of the very friendliest people I've ever met and it's a pleasure, uh, pleasure to meet you and thank you again thank for you so uh, treating me and Megan to a fabulous VIP night at Ballroom with a Twist. This is Lania with On the Ballroom Beat saying dance with you later. Thank you again to Tony. That was so much fun to see the show and such a great, uh, such a great time catching up with him. Um, I am going to move from there right into some Dancing with the Stars gossip for you for season 20. We are all looking so forward to that big 10-year anniversary, and I have casting gossip for you. Now, we don't know the stars. Everybody's still speculating about that, but 10 of the pros have been announced. And so hold on to your horses, John. We're going to go pretty quick here. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen, the 10 confirmed professionals for Dancing with the Stars season 20. Number one, Mark Ballas. Mark Ballas is a two-time champion and a seven-time finalist. I think most of you will remember him doing his Mario Brothers routine with Sadie Robertson during season 19 of Dancing with the Stars. Number two, we have the lovely Sharna Burgess. Now, last season, she danced with Tavis Smiley. Um, she did do Burn the Floor on Broadway. She is an, a beautiful Australian dancer, and we're so excited to have her be a part of the cast. Number three, Whitney Carson. Of course she's back. She's the champion. She's got to come and defend her title. So last year, she was partnered with Alfonso Rivera. Obviously, they were the winners. They were absolutely out of this world. Some of you may also love her from when she was on So You Think You Can Dance. She did make it to the top six, one of the top three girls on the show. Uh, she's definitely going to be a fan favorite. Number four, Artem. I don't even think I can bear to try to pronounce this last name. My Russian teacher will laugh at me. Shvidzinskas? <laughs> he danced with Leah Thompson last season. Um, he was also in So You Think You Can Dance season one. Uh, so some of you who have been watching since the beginning may recognize him from that. But most of you know him from the very touching, beautiful routines that he did with Leah last season. Uh, number five, Val Schmierkowski. He was dancing with Janelle Parrish last season. Uh, they had some of the most passionate, emotionally charged routines of the season, and I know that he's a fan favorite, so everybody's going to be really excited for him to come back. We'll see if he plays the violin again. That was pretty cool when he did that last season. Uh, number six, she's better known for So You Think You Can Dance, but she's made the transition over to Dancing with the Stars, Allison Holker. She is an Emmy-nominated Emmy dancer and choreographer. Uh, her first season of, of uh, Dancing with the Stars was this last season, season 19. She was partnered with Jonathan Bennett. So we wish her all the best as she moves into season 20. Uh, number seven, she's returning, Kim Johnson. Woohoo! look at that costume. Holy smokes. Now, Kim Johnson is very special because she is the only pro to win mirror ball trophies on two continents. That's right. She has won Dancing with the Stars Australia as well as our very own Dancing with the Stars. She is returning for the big 10-year anniversary, and we're so excited to see her back. Um, Peta is going to be back. You remember she danced with Tommy Chong. Uh, she was also, it, interesting with her, season 13, she's the first one cut. Season 14, she wins the mirror ball. How that works, I don't know, but she was the champion with Donald Driver, and she will be back for season 20. Number nine, Emma Slater. She's such a sweet girl. Emma Slater is going to be back. Hooray. Uh, now, Emma danced with Michael Waltrip, as you all remember, in season 19. Some other things that you may not know about Emma is that she was also in the movie Mamma Mia. So if you ever watch that one again, make sure you keep your eyes open for the lovely Emma Slater. And I saved my favorite for last. Tony Dovolani is going to be back. So glad to have him. Um, as we know, because we just watched the interview with him, he danced with Betsy Johnson last season. He was in the movie Shall We Dance. He also helped to um, 
you know, train Jennifer Lopez and, um, and Richard Gere in there. And of course, he's on tour with Ballroom with a Twist. One of the nicest guys I've met. Fantastic, fantastic dancer. And I'm so excited that he is back for season 20. Interestingly enough, Cheryl Burke, who has also been on since season two, just like Tony Dovolani, will not be back, which I'm disappointed about. And neither will Derek Huff. He's a big fan favorite, too. So I know a lot of people are going right now because we love Derek so very much. Um, Derek, it's very exciting. He's going to be um, he's going to be at Radio City Music Hall. He's going to be starring opposite Tony Award-winning actress Laura Benanti in the New York Spring Spectacular, and that's going to be starting on March 12th. So if you're in New York, go check him out. Um, but there there is word that he will be returning for season 21. So dry your eyes; it won't be too long, and we'll have him back in the fall. Uh, now, Cheryl Burke. As some of you may know, Cheryl Burke, during season 12, um, did her, her practice sessions at Arthur Murray Dance Studio in Palm Harbor with Chris Jericho. Yeah, there's a great picture of them in the studio with, uh, with me. Yay. <laughs> um, anyway, I caught up with her at Ballroom with a Twist and talked to her a little bit about season 20 and, and if she was going to be a part of it. And she did confirm that she is not going to be a part of it. She is in the works. Um, she signed a contract with a new show on NBC. And they're getting ready to start rolling that out. And she said that she'll give me more details when she's allowed to. But right now, she's not supposed to talk about it. Uh, so what's interesting about this is Tony Dovolani has now outseasoned her because both of them started in season two. And, and uh, yeah, he's, he's going on one more than her now, interestingly enough. So Derek, Cheryl, we'll miss you along with some of the other regulars that we're still crossing our fingers come back, but we won't know until we get a little bit closer. On the other side of the break, I'm going to talk to you about Dancing with the Stars right here in the Orlando area. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short-term, long-term, your terms. Apply online at norcommortgage.com. Beltran Dental Surgery is dedicated to providing the highest quality dental surgery. Teeth in a Day allows a patient to walk in with their old teeth, sleep under IV sedation, and walk out with a brand new smile. Unlike dentures, Teeth in a Day allows you to eat what you want and still feel like you have your own teeth. From wisdom teeth removal to implants or creating a whole new smile, call now or visit our website to learn more about our procedure. Get a brand new smile today. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. My middle son did not like to come to the dentist, but now he loves to come to the Beehive. You don't have to be afraid to go to the dentist. Believe me, Dr. B and his worker bees are the best. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. The last several years have been confusing and trying for homeowners. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group was there before the housing crisis, during, and we are still here now advising people of their options and helping them choose the best financial solutions for their family. You do have options, and today's market promises lots of opportunities. We have found that there are a lot of questions out there and misinformation, and we want you to know we have answers. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group providing solutions today for a better tomorrow. 
Welcome back to On the Ballroom Beat. As promised, I've got some Dancing with the Stars news for you right here in your very own backyard. Dancing with the Fringe Stars is going to be happening on March 2nd at 8 p.m. That is a Monday night. It's going to be at the Hard Rock over at Universal Studios. Now, those of you who have followed the Fringe Festival are definitely going to recognize some great, great, great names in this show. Even those of you who have watched On the Ballroom Beat are going to because a couple of the guys from the PB&J Theater Factory that we covered a few episodes ago are going to be in the uh, in the show as dancing stars. Brandon Roberts and Terrence Yip are going to be dancing. We wish them the very best of luck. I had the uh, privilege of catching up with festival producer for the Orlando International Fringe and Theater Festival, Michael Marinaccio, as well as some of the dancing stars. And here's what they had to say about the upcoming show. dancing for nine years. Judy Garland is my partner. I hope she can keep up with me. Hi, I'm Lania Berger with On the Ballroom Beat. I'm here with Mike Marinaccio, who is the festival producer for the Orlando International Fringe Theater Festival. Welcome to On the Ballroom Beat. Thanks for having me. So I am so excited. Of course, I love the Fringe Festival. It, it's a fantastic event. Can you tell us just a little bit about what Fringe Festival is for those who have never fringed before? Sure. F Fringe Festival is a multi-genre performing arts festival. Uh, we run two weeks in May every year uh, here in uh, downtown Orlando. Um, we have over 100 shows, uh, and our tagline is over 100 shows rated G through OMG. Um, we are unjuried, which means we have no selection committee. We are uncensored, which means we don't control any of the artist's content. It's 100% their creative passion uh, on stage. Uh, and we give 100% of the ticket sales back to the artists. We are a nonprofit organization that benefits the artists. And when does Fringe happen in 2015? Uh, Fringe in 2015 will be May 13th through the 25th. Now, again, as a nonprofit organization, of course, they're looking for creative ways to raise money for the organization. And I think you've come up with perhaps the very best I've ever seen, Dancing with the Fringe Stars. So tell me, how did you come up with that? Well, you know, we are a multi-genre performing arts festival, and it's really a smorgasbord of, of different uh, styles and uh, of performing arts. So we last year, we were very musical theater focused with our hard rock events. Uh, every year, we do an event at Hard Rock Live. It's our biggest annual fundraiser. The year before it was a lot more comedy focused and this year I had a lot of new dance groups and a lot more dance uh, involved and so I thought this is the year that we're going to do a dance themed uh, show and so it's a great opportunity to showcase a lot of our dance groups, our existing ones and uh, newer ones and then also I just thought a really fun concept would be to pair up some of our fringe celebrities with professional dancers and see what happens. Uh, so I've got uh, some of our most hilarious comedians and best performers and they're out there working with some really stunning dancers and uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Yes, but actually our <laughs> hashtag is, oh my God, she's coming right at me. <laughs> And he's not joking that, yes, that is, that, that, that is, happens that, that at happens. one point, yeah. Yes. I can't wait to see this routine. So team, oh my God, she's coming right at me. They're in the middle of their rehearsal process right now. And tell me, how's it going so far? Right. Uh, yeah. It's Much better than I'd imagined, actually. It, it, we really, uh, they're, they're really out there working hard to compete and do this thing. Now, I can vouch that some of the names on the list are truly some of the funniest people I have ever seen, because I've been a patron of the Fringe for years. Can you tell me about your selection process? Uh, sure. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought of artists that were known for comedy or acting, but I knew had a little bit of a dance background. So we've got uh, folks like Eric Pinder, uh, Doug Bowser, uh, some of our best uh, 
comedic performers, but I know that they have some some real uh, dance chops. Savannah Simmerly is another great one. She's known as a, a, an incredible singer, and um, but she's really a, a great dancer as well. And then um, some of our most outrageous characters, Pepe. Um, uh, is Pepe dancing? Pepe is dancing. Pepe is dancing with Tammy Weber Millar from Flamenco del Sol. Oh wow! Who is uh, uh, nearly six foot tall blonde bombshell and one of the best flamenco dancers you will ever see i saw her um, last year so yeah, yeah. She's great. so so that's going to be really exciting to see um if pepe can keep up and what <laughs> what happens there um you know I, I also thought of some you know odd couple pairings so i have uh tamisha harris from varieties who mm -hmm. is amazing she's one of the most beautiful people you ever see too I love you Tush <laughs> um, and um, and Tamisha is paired up with Brandon Roberts who is one of our best physical comedian clown He's also <laughs> <laughs> Roberts, our viewers will know he's from the PB and J Theater Factory. Mm -hmm. Just a few episodes ago, actually, we did a, a segment on them and the oh, production really? of Slay. Yeah, okay. so you might recognize him as he has a, an extremely animated face, and, and uh, yeah, he's he's great. I'm mm -hmm. so excited to see him dance. Yeah, Brandon. <laughs> Actually, PB and J Theater Factory is is teaming up with Circus Arts, our uh, Circus Arts crew, uh, group, this year for a show called Clink at the Fringe, and um, that's going to be really exciting too because we've got you know the physical theater clown uh, group with true acrobats. Yeah. I mean, really amazing acrobatics. So um, I'm excited for that too. I'm really and Circus Arts will be performing at the. Um, right. Dancing with the French stars. Yeah, and talk to me a little bit about that. You have some very serious dance performances going on as well. Sure, there's group performances uh, from some of our best dance groups, Varieties, Yao Dance, Circus Arts, uh, Explore Theater and Dance, which is a new company for us. Um, and so they're going to be doing um, not unjudged performances intermittently throughout. Um, it's hosted by the amazing Michael Andrews. Um, of Michael Andrews and Swingerhead, mm -hmm. uh, Michael is gonna he's he's writing an original opening song for it. Uh, we've got a live band led by Todd Kimbrough, who's one of our best uh, uh, playwrights, uh, composers, performers, and my longtime friend. Uh, he's actually the guy that I started this whole fringe journey with back in 1997. So, um, yeah, and then our judges we have uh, Eric Yao, the artistic mm -hmm. director of Yao Dance. Blue Star, the artistic director of Varieties, and Michael Wanzi, who is very well known to our fringe celebrity, uh, to our fringe world, um, but he's also happens to be a little known uh, a ballroom dance instructor. And with he taught for Arthur Murray. He did teach teach for Arthur Murray, yes. And so people don't know that about Michael, but I think he's going to be a great judge. Um, we also are going to be judged by the audience, so uh, the okay. audience will be able to. Uh, we'll have envelopes on the, uh, it is a fundraiser after all, sure. so we'll have envelopes on the table and uh, people can contribute money and and pick a um, whatever amount they want and, and pick a, a group that they want to vote for and then whichever group raises the most money mm -hmm. will get additional points uh, in the scoring. So. Perfect. It's, it's, it's just a good thing to go to to help the arts because the arts is just this beautiful flower that needs water in the form of dollars. Wonderful. Now, have you given them guidelines on their routines, or is it just whatever they? Uh, three to five minutes. Okay. Uh, one song. Um, I, you know, what I encourage them to do is uh, focus on being entertaining first and flashing the dance second. So, I, I mean, there are some groups that are going to be really focused on the technical routines, mm -hmm. um, but all of them are going to try and infuse some comedy. A, they're not going to drop you, and B, that they're not going to step on your toes with their point shoes. 
Point yeah. shoes. Yeah, yes. she's in point shoes. We are doing oh. uh, it's a very classical <laughs> sort of ballet oh, thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I'm not really known for. So uh, I think with dance, everyone thinks dance is like some kind of art. It's not an art. You learn how to do it, like programming. You're on a dance show. Sorry. <laughs> Dancing is an art, and when I see it, I just go, "That's amazing." What was the question? <laughs> Now give us the details once more about how we can get tickets, exactly where and when it's going to be. Sure, you can just click on, just go to orlandofringe.org. You'll have, we'll be able to click through all the details there. You can go right to the Hard Rock Live box office where you can purchase tickets. You can call the Hard Rock Live box office as well. Uh, sometimes it's better to go through uh, by phone. You pay less fees mm -hmm. uh, than you if you go through Ticketmaster. Um, but uh, orlandofringe.org. That's, that's okay. where you'll find out all the information. And the date is March 2nd, Monday night mm -hmm. uh, at 8 p.m. Excellent. So Monday, March 2nd, 8 p.m. Make sure that you mark your calendar and check out Dancing with the Fringe Stars. Mike, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks so thank much for taking so much time better. today. And thank you all for joining us on The Ballroom Beat. Thank you again to Michael Marinaccio for meeting with me. It was so great to talk to you about the show, and I can't wait to see it. It's going to be such a fun night. Now, a couple other things for you to mark your calendar on. If you're here in the Tampa Bay area, specifically Clearwater, Ruth Eckert Hall has a bunch of dance shows coming. Flash Dance is going to be here on Saturday, March 28th, 8 p.m. Make sure to mark your calendar for that. What a feeling, right? Woohoo! Cole Porter's Anything Goes. If you like to foxtrot, this music is fantastic. This musical is tremendously fun. Based on the uh, writings of P.G. Woodhouse, definitely check that out. That one is Wednesday, March 18th, 8 p.m. Swing Time featuring the Jive Aces. Now, I have not seen this, but it's Monday, March 9th at 1 p.m. And hey, I think this looks like a great afternoon out. Definitely some good music there. For our classical dancers... The lovely Swan Lake is going to be there on Saturday, February 28th at 7.30 p.m. Make sure that you head on over for such an elegant artistic evening out. And finally, tomorrow night, Thursday, February 19th, 8 p.m., Dancing Pros Live. Make sure that you're there. You're going to see dancers, all sorts of wonderful dancers from Dancing with the Stars, so you think you can dance and more. Next week... I will not be here. You will be on the ballroom beat with Megan Wittstein, and I believe Brittany's going to be joining her too. They're going to be giving you wedding dips and tips. So if the big day is coming up for you, make sure that you tune in next week on the ballroom beat. Cha cha on the ballroom beat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cha cha on the ballroom beat. Got two left feet. Get on the ballroom beat. They're dancing in the street. They're on the ballroom beat. We can tangle, we can swing, we can do anything. Walk in through the door and waltz on the floor. You wanna feel the heat. Get on the ballroom beat Cha-cha on the ballroom beat Foxtrot on the ballroom beat Salsa on the ballroom beat 